Dozens of people gathered here in Austin tonight to remember the six worshipers gunned down at a Sikh temple in Wisconsin on Sunday. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle is live from the somber vigil at the state capitol. Aaron, good evening. Good evening, Shannon. This memorial service ended about 10 minutes ago, but let me step out of the way. You can still see a large crowd gathered here. There are people of all ages, both young and old, many families here as well, still visiting after this service here tonight. Now, Central Texas is home to about 300 people who practice the Sikh faith. Many of them were here tonight, along with people from a number of religious backgrounds brought together by this tragedy. Now, they were lighting up the lawn of the state capitol here tonight with candles praying together for those who died. They are also praying for the family of the gunman. Tonight's vigil is a combined effort of the University of Texas Sikh Student Association and the local Sikh community. Authorities say they do not know what triggered the shooter, but some Sikhs believe the killings are another misdirected act of hatred toward them since 9-11. Now, Sikhism is the fifth largest religion in the world. It originated 500 years ago in India due to the turban Sikh men where they are often mistaken for Taliban or Islamic extremists. Sikhs call themselves peace-loving people who do not condone violence against people of any faith. And while the weekend killings are a terrible tragedy, they are using it as an opportunity to grow. If anything, we should take strength from it. And um, American Sikhs, Yes, we've taken a huge hit as a community as a result of this, but so has all of America. Americans all over the country have taken a huge hit from this. So um, let's get strength from this and let's grow as a people together. Now, as this vigil was getting underway tonight, there were several tourists who just happened to walk up asking what was going on. And when we told them, they decided to join the vigil as well. Coming up on KXAN News at 10 after the Olympics, we'll have much more from this prayer service. Tonight, we're live at the state capitol. Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News.